Where the frickin' hell's the... Sorry guys. So I'm just listening to music right now. I will do gameplays for you guys. Um, every... what was it? Just trying to think. I will do gameplays every, like... Hang on. Like, every once five days, if you know what I mean? Because there's a unit 10 taping start of that. So I've got to be there by 12, so I'll have this done by 12. What mission should I do today? I've done that one the last episode. So I'll do the Turkish baths one. Yeah, more WWE superstars just got released. I kind of had a feeling at some some point that I'm just trying to think. Hang on. Sorry, I'm just trying to think. Um, I Radio some, check. At some point, I kind of had a feeling okay, that my Jackson and Ryko would be gone now. eventually, I which is gone from, this through the um, forward grand staircase, right? Uh, yeah. Which was, he was play, he was, his character in Impact Wrestling was gonna. He was, I'd never got to really see him, but he was so, he was good. Here we go. Just getting ready to... That's me, um, On that night of April sister's 14th, cat. We all, that is, the captain and officers, knew perfectly well that we were just about... The lens is a freaking fuzzy. Sorry about language. ...at that particular time of the year, and had taken all necessary precautions. We were steaming that night at Hang on. 22 knots. I know exactly what I'm doing. I was relieved as officer of the watch by murder. We were just coming up to the side of the ship. Lying ahead of us any more than I did. And so, five bells, six bells, and seven bells went by. But barely ten minutes had passed after the sound of the last bell when there were three sharp clangs on the crow's nest bell, followed by a cry from the lookout cage. Like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already as well. Uh, his lenses are getting really fuzzy. Hard to stop, full speed astern. Her bow swung a bit, but not enough. And she struck. She took the blow along her starboard side. Masses of ice. So I just had to clean the lenses. Oh, hang on. No, it stopped on. So the lenses got really dirty, so I've had to clean them. I will do a gameplay every once five days. Not. I will still still do gameplay videos as I update you guys on my, on my gameplay upload schedule in the last episode. Here we go, I'll just give you guys a quick look at... So I'm just trying to... This is one of the davits still in the upright position. Plus the one on the other side as well, which Murdoch was in charge of. So, uh, here we go. I hope you guys enjoy this video as well. I will give you guys a tour of the bow section of Titanic. Which is where, pe ha ha which is where, this is What's where the mainly... patches of damage on the deck? I thought I'll give you guys a tour the, of the cabins people stayed in as well, as best as I possibly can. It's so alright, I'm just trying to... Isn't conservation of this site meant to be important? I'm at the staircase. Oh, wait, aren't the subs supposed to be neutrally buoyant? There we go. No, I'm just going to dive down. Not the weight. It's better oh, wow. to just not touch anything. I love this game. 
Comment down below, what's your favourite area to go into when you're playing this game? In VR. For me, it would have to be having a good... Go into the um, Turkish bus, which is where we're going to go eventually. The last episode was about 37 minutes long. This episode's probably going to be the same or a bit... Bit shorter, I don't know, but... I'm going to try and do the best as I can with these videos. I will, every time I play this game, I will dedicate my, this, my um, Titanic VR content to everybody who lost their lives on the disaster of the Titanic as best as I can. Um, this is where people just roamed, walked freely. Nobody knew of what was death troubles lying ahead of them. The, the captain was receiving ice warnings. Was receiving ice warnings throughout the voyage. And a lot of you would know that. By, through documentaries, James Cameron's Titanic as well. That one scene, in the one scene. If you know what I mean. And, um... I'm just having a good look inside of the rooms. Um... That wardrobe had its days. Doesn't look... It's not in the best condition, because it's... Trying to as the um, front front of the ship went downwards, the furniture shifted. For some of you that are wondering, well, a lot of you would know that by the um, James Cameron's one scene in particular, and the, when the front part of the ship goes down, shows you inside one of the rooms inside of the ship that James Cameron recreated with the furniture shifting. It's completely normal. Wow, not bad, the bathroom's a bit... There's debris everywhere in the bathroom. Here we go. Here we go. It's alright, me um, dad's not up yet. He's still asleep, poor bloke. He's either, he usually has a really, he usually doesn't get much sleep because of looking after my mum, because my mum suffers from depression and anxiety. So he, he looks, takes really good care after her now, so he's a pensioner, if you know what I mean. He's only just re started receiving his pension. So he's okay now. He's okay. He's been really not coping with the whole, whole like, whole really fig really. He's been really anxious about the pension thing. And um, they've only just started getting the, their pension. It's about, it's going to be a monthly thing. We're going to get a pension every like month. We've had a month. And um, there's the um, new Titan Lego model. It's about, what do you, I always say about, um, I would say about, about, just trying to think, the Lego model itself, the new Titanic one, is about £500. Oh, wow. I'm just having a good look at all the rooms. For some of you wondering who I'm listening to, Pendulum. It's a playlist of some of you that love that sort of music. Go on Spotify and put, go on my um, you like Spotify account, which is autistic Titanic fan. Go on my Spotify page, which is auti autistic Titanic fan. I have a bunch of playlists on that, which is this one included. This, this one, the ambience one, which is ambience relaxation playlist. And there's loads on there. 
I have done a lot of playlists on Spotify if you want to check them out I totally recommend it I'm just having a good look in the rooms feels like you're actually in the game when you're playing it Go in this room quickly. Not a bad room actually, it's just there's a bit of debris everywhere as you guys can see for yourself. And in the middle bit of the bed. Sorry, I'm just getting a bit tired. Funny just a second woke up. Not bad, not bad at all. I'm just gonna put the headphones in. Gonna turn the Oh, uh, well. Oh, uh, dresses fell back onto the, nearly onto the bed. The h sub half of it's on the bed. It's just it's still attached by a thread. I can tell by that bit. The wardrobe, the wardrobe snapped in half. Oh, blame it. Oh, we kind of knew that, didn't we? Before you go, come into the room, you can, you can kind of tell from an angle about the wardrobe. It's normal because when during the sinking, as I mentioned earlier, the front part of the ship, which is the sh front part we're actually inside of, went started to go deep down into the water. The furniture, like that, actually, is it attached? Hang on, I'll go, I'll go on to that to explain a bit more about the ship in a minute. Is that attach though no it ain't it just looked it from where I was but it ain't actually attached if you look from an angle I'll stay in this angle so you guys can see yourself it's just fell back snapped off and fell back in onto the bed so back on to what I was talking about when the front part of ship went deep started to go down the furniture started shifting and um, the furniture, some of the wardrobe like that. So I'll prob if I can explain it better. Unless there's somebody can explain it better than I can. That would really help me out. Uh, the furniture, some of the furniture started breaking up like that. And that. Uh, the bed would be fine. It's just dissolving, that's all. Including the f sofa. Unless someone can explain that, what I just explained better, it really helped me out, honestly. It really would help me out, because when I explain things, I explain, tend to explain things differently, if you know what I mean. Hang on, I'm just going to get out of this, because uh, I tend to explain things differently. Unless someone out there in the YouTube community that can explain it better than I can, really, honestly, it really would help me out. I really would appreciate it. That. It's beautiful. This ship's just beautifully done. The team himself, Immersive VR Education, created this game. It's absolutely fantastic. I think I've, I've had this game since January. I, I asked for it last Christmas. It's one of my Christmas presents. It's one of my Christmas presents, this is. So I asked for it for Christmas. So. Uh, the game itself, as I explained in mul all of most of the videos I've tied up the iron dam, it's actually £15.99. This game's 100% worth it. Hang on. Oh, that's not bad. So, right, I'm just looking into the room, glitching into it. 
That's not bad at all. So jog on the floor. Um. So right, what was I talking about now? Oh, it's a game. I right, I get it now. So right, I'm going off subject. Well, sort of. Um. The, as I said, the game is about fifteen pounds ninety nine. For some of you that are new. Um, PlayStation Store, if you guys want to play it, you'll need to buy a PlayStation VR headset for PS4. Um, and the headsets themselves, they're about... Uh, but they're about... Just trying to think. They can be about... You can, can get some about 200. Maybe 300. It is amazing how well the it's amazing game, so I totally recommend it. Wow. If you want to have a toilet, really, on the ship during the voyage, this is where you would come. To this spot. From this deck, of course. But if you had your own private, like, suite, maid, sitting room, bedroom, bathroom, and another bathroom, if you were sharing with someone, you'd. Because most had their own private bathrooms. Which I will show you a good example later in the video. Good room.
So I'm just looking at different music. So I've been wondering why I've gone quiet. Um, alright, went quiet for a minute because I was just putting on different music. Hmm. Not bad. Go back out of the room. Well, going to them two rooms ahead, I'm just going to look into this one quickly. I actually got a bit tired for a minute then. Um, quite a bit of the wardrobe, off the wardrobe. I'm looking in, looking through this little hole, starting to dissolve. The wardrobe's, that bit of the wardrobe's starting to dissolve. Um, just got a few rooms to head into. We're done, nearly done with this area, we've just got about two room, more rooms to go into and then we're done. And then we'll go down to, to B deck. Which is D deck, which is where we've got to head to. And then we're, we're going to take a photograph of the, um, if I can remember, the piano. Go to this room first. Wow. Whoa. So I got a bit tired in a minute. <laughs> it's normal. I'm just a bit tired. Nothing. Nothing new really. Whoa. This game's actually really cool. Yeah, I just remembered to go into this room. Hi. Hello.
Yeah, if you don't mind. Well, these rooms are well, well preserved. That's the elevators, as the UK calls them, lifts. That's just a big empty hallway. That big empty hallway would have been, that I just looked into, would have been used for, for crew to go down.
got to be Thomas Andrews cabin would you say well his cabin was on ADAC bummer well it would have been someone's cabin got a bit my tongue but it would have been someone's cabin but I don't know who though. Look crappy. That's a good example. What in that room there? Bathroom. That's the bathroom. That's the bedroom if I could get into it. Yeah, I can get into it. This is probably a good example of a suite. Then there's the bedroom. No, bathroom. Should have realised that really, shouldn't I? This is a bedroom. And that is an another bedroom I don't know if the oh that would have been a bedroom for he or she or they uh, here we go
Pardon me.
Right, I'm at D-Deck. Great. The area in front of you is the reception area. Head forward and you'll find a grand piano on the port side. Is that what I'm photographing? Yeah. An American historian is writing about the Titanic's musicians and wants a clear photograph of the piano. I can't believe this survived. It's beautiful, isn't it? Like something out of a film. I think this is the first room Henderson would have seen when he boarded. Did you want to take a minute to look around? Yeah, can I? Of course. The next task is the recovery in the Turkish baths. So head down the grand staircase when you're finished here. That's why you would have boarded the ship. Through those doors. I don't know how to get through that. Follow my footsteps. If you come to this area here, where I've just come down, drawn D deck, you go towards the once the um the side of the the doors are just gone into with the with the two doors still attached on the one side, not the port port side, the other side, which is you see a doorway. You go through that way and you come to, you see this bit, you go into this room I've just come into, and then you go past this room here, and you come, you just come to this bit here, you sh and go straight into this room and go through this wall, and then you pass that bundle of uh, debris. normal though, isn't it? It's alright, I'm just gonna check out all the... Go to this room quickly. Not bad.
This is the boarding doors. The boarding entrances. We would board the ship. Alright, I'm ready. The Turkish baths are at the bottom of the staircase, right? Yep, straight down and off to starboard. In the bats now. I can see the oral V here pinned under a pipe. Great. You'll need to get into position Done. and attack. Okay. Last step is yeah, to activate working. the tank. The pipe is lifted. And it should fit. Great. When the pipe's completely lifted, you can attach your hook and drag the ROV out of here. Right. Ah, I think the motor failed. My arm's not responding. Is everything else okay? Is the line attached? Yeah, everything else is operational, and the line's still connected. Okay, we'll fix the arm when you're back on the surface, but for now, you'll have to be extra cautious. You need to drag the ROV back out to the ground staircase. The extra weight is going to make your controls tricky. No, you're not wrong there. Predator's really struggling. I'll need to use my other arm until we get this damaged one replaced. This is- Am I towing this thing all the way back to the Just flood? take it now. No, we've an easier way to get out of the wreck. Let me know when you're at the staircase. I'm at the staircase again. The next step is to attach a tracker to the ROV. There is one in your compartment. Uh, now what? Now remove the hook and let it float straight up to the surface. The other diving team will be able to track it and pick it up. Well, there she goes. Should I follow it up? No, we aren't finished down here yet. What's left to do? We need to collect the gear we left in the Turkish baths. The flotation gear? Yeah, it's too expensive to leave down here. You need to deflate the balloon and remove it from the pipe. All done. I'm heading back up. Great. See you soon. I'll get the lab ready to repair Predator. Like, comment and subscribe if you haven't already and push notification bell to be notified every time I upload on YouTube. 
Love you guys so much. Hope you enjoyed this video. Peace out.